partnerships initiatives here at Crypto Unicorns. Uh, I've been part of this project now for just over 12 months, um, actually around 15 months, I believe, which is really cool. And before that, I was actually a CU player. I was a community member. Um, I've, had, I've been invested in this project for almost three years now when I first minted a Genesis egg back in October 2000. Uh, in 21. So yeah, that, that was kind of the start of my um, NFT journey. I had picked up a few NFTs before that, but it was the first time I really went bullish on something. Um, and yeah, I played the game for, you know, the game came out the next year, May 2022. Um, and yeah, I played the game just about every single day and worked my way up. Um, so yeah, I, I come to you today, not as really a team member or, or a professional, but as someone that has actively played the game has gotten the trenches, scaled my, scaled my account, and in some cases have managed to pay my my rent <laughs> with crypto unicorns. Although, you know, theoretically I could do that, but for me, I'm so bullish on this project that I don't extract. But still, it's a very interesting concept that, you know, in a dream concept that we play these games and if we can get good at these games, we have the opportunity to uh, either generate revenue or resell the assets that we accumulate over time to players coming in. Um, who, obviously want, who obviously want more than we do. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen uh, and we will go ahead and get started with some uh, in-game strategies and just some overall account growth tips. How does that sound? Feel free to um, ask any questions at any point in time in chat and I'll go, I'll go through and answer them uh, once I've finished screen sharing and we'll go from there. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and share. All right, can you guys just confirm you are seeing my uh, game screen? Just a few uh, confirmations in chat would be good. Just let me know, you guys can see what I'm sharing. Perfect. Thanks for confirming. All right, guys, well, let's get into it. So very excited to go ahead and do this. Uh, I love sharing uh, my experience with this game. I love helping people understand it a bit more. Crypto unicorns can be a little bit uh, complex to understand. Um, at face value when you're first coming in. Um, but the idea is, is that what I'm sharing with you now has taken me two years to figure out. And I'm going to do my best to explain this in the most simple possible way, because it doesn't really help if I explain it in a complicated way. Otherwise, no one's really going to understand what I'm saying. So uh, right here is my, um, right here is my little crypto unicorn universe. I have all my land here. I have the max amount of land, which is 16, uh, total land or four by four, as you can see. I started off with, I think about three land, but I only started off with two unicorns. As of today, I believe I had around 730 unicorns. So my breeding journey just started with two. And, you know, I want to, I want to emphasize that this has taken me time to get here. This wasn't an overnight journey. I have reinvested in this project um, over the past two years. And obviously that's, um, you know, paid great dividends and it's been a, an absolute joy um, for me to uh, participate in. So um, yeah, two, two years in the making, although I will say it would be much quicker to get to this level now because of a lot of, a lot of the unicorn breed times have been reduced. It used to be 24 hours to breed a unicorn. Now it's a matter of minutes, right? So um, that has significantly added up the loop. So uh, let's go down and I will walk you guys through some of what I have going on here and just how I'm earning rewards and generating all these uh, tokens from the game. Now, one thing I'm going to point out as well um, is that, uh, yeah, this is obviously accumulation of a lot of time invested, but if you have a clear goal in mind, um, you know, focus every day, show up 10, 15, 30 minutes is all you need max, 30 minutes max to be honest, but at the start a lot less. And if you create a routine out of this, you'll be able to uh, scale your account very quickly. So I'm going to give you two things today. I'm going to give you direction right? What you need to do if you're coming into the game or what the fastest way to grow. And then the other thing I'm going to give you um, is just an overall strategy around how to follow that direction. So what should you be doing every day to go in that direction? So your direction might be, I want to get, you know, 300 unicorns and nine land. Cool. How do we get there? I'm going to explain to you what you can be doing to do that. So let's walk through some of my lands. So you can see here, I have buildings everywhere. All these green ticks are essentially meaning that the item is ready to claim or the quest is ready to claim, the gathering cart's ready to claim. And so 
I kind of want to focus on two buildings here that I think are very important for generating uh, your rewards. That is the gathering cart. So you can see here, it looks like a cart. I'm just going to zoom in on it. Uh, so that's the cart there. And then right next to it is the quest board. So both of these, um, are ideally the structures you want to level up and focus on, especially that gathering cart. When you get your gathering cart to level 10, so let's have a look at this, right? So I've got a gathering cart over here that's not level 10. So let's go over here. So this one I believe is level nine. So I'm gonna go and collect these rewards now. Now, when you collect gathering cart rewards, uh, the higher level your gathering cart is, the more rewards you're gonna get. There is also a small chance that you will get a jackpot um, every time you collect a cart, right? And that's kind of built into a lot of features in Crypto Unicorns. There is a small jackpot chance. So you've got a jackpot chance at your gathering cart, you've got a jackpot chance um, when you open loot boxes, uh, you also get jackpot chances really when you're breeding, right? If you breed the ultra rare unicorns that can easily sell for thousands of dollars. So let's collect this cart. And so we can see here that I sent these unicorns out, I think about uh, two days ago, and now they've come back here with some unum and a bunch of seeds. Now unum is kind of the lifeblood currency of the game. You use it for breeding. That is this uh, token up here, by the way, if you can see, I have 234,000 of it. You can see a little bit has just been added to that total pool based on what I've just collected. But you use this for, let's say, breeding. And so for example, I wanna breed two unicorns together. Let's just say I wanted to breed two moons. It's going to give me an idea of what the cost is. Now that cost does seem quite overinflated, and it is, but that's largely because I was just selected two random unicorns with missing breed points. If I had, let's say, unicorns with no missing breed points, let's adjust the filters. So, for example, there's an eight-point unicorn here, and then there's a five-point unicorn here. It's only four thousand, right? And and ten CU. And so ultimately, your goal and key strategy should be multiplying your unicorns, breeding out volume. And once you've got some volume to sustain your economy, this is where you can focus on the more powerful unicorns. And let's have a look at some of the powerful unicorns that I've got. So we can see here I'm filtering by um, stats. So I've got a, a couple triple mythic unicorns uh, over the 2000 stats. Uh, 2000 stats, by the way, is considered the highest level of stats um, because that's, uh, that's something that's obviously is going to influence everything. They've taken me some time to breed out. I've also just bought some from the marketplace and bred them out. I think that's the most effective way. If you want to shortcut your journey, find high stat unicorns with multiple mythic parts and buy one. Yes, they're going to be expensive, but you can very easily um, breed them out and clone them and your babies can inherit those uh, mythic parts, which really is the key meta in crypto unicorns, right? It's breeding powerful unicorns. Let's go through and click on some of these rewards. So I've got a bunch of farms here. You know, you plant berries in the farms and uh, so you plant seeds in the farms and they give you berries. So every day I will just go through and collect berries from my farms. Over here, we have another gathering cart. This is gonna be a level 10 gathering cart, by the way. So let's see. Uh, cool, so we can see here, we got more rewards than the last one. I think the last one I had a, I think overall a thousand unum. From this one, I have uh, what? Close to four and a half thousand unum right there, right? And I have a gathering, I have about, I think 11 or 12 level 10 gathering carts. Uh, so again, guys, this really is the key meta. Let's go through and collect some of these gathering carts. And if we're lucky, you know, I, I, I don't like my chances, but if we get lucky, we might be able to get a jackpot on stream. Um, and so if we get a jackpot on stream, that's going to be pretty fucking awesome. So let's, let's have a look here. So yeah, we can see some nice numbers here. Obviously no jackpot. The, the jackpot is multi, um, yeah, it's, it's over six figures of Unum. So we'll definitely know it when we get that. We're going to go click some farms as well, collect some berries. Berries, by the way, sustain everything, right? So, you know, one, one, things that, one of the things that berries do, so let's just say I've got a unicorn here and he's only got five out of uh, 15 energy. Okay, cool. Well, I might want to recharge his energy so I can use him for some of the quests, for example, which may take more than five energy. So if I click recharge all, you can see his energy is now gone up to full and obviously he's consumed the berries in the process. So we'll go ahead and go through the gathering carts and then we'll talk about questing and how you can get rewards. So as I said, you want to make sure the first thing you do is leveling up, leveling up gathering carts. So we're going to go here and we've got two more gathering carts to collect. So a whole bunch more Unum, no jackpot. You also get seeds as well. I mentioned seeds before you plant the seeds to get the berries and the berries are the lifeblood of your economy. 
right? They sustain just about every in-game action. Um, so, cool. We got a nice one here. We got close to, what's that? Uh, yeah, almost 6,000 unum, which is pretty nice. Um, not bad at all. Do we have any other cards? Uh, I think we have one left. Will we get lucky? <laughs> Rubbing my hands together. Okay. Where's the jackpot at? No jackpot. Okay, that's okay. We've always got tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Look, on average, I probably get one to two jackpots a week. So, um, yeah, I think that's worth to close to around 100 USD, I believe, at current prices of Unum. Uh, it's certainly been a lot more in the past. And obviously, if the game flywheel starts spinning, uh, once we really scale crypto unicorns, you know, a jackpot could easily be worth in the thousands. So, um, yeah, really cool. So go ahead and collect some of these farms. I think we've done all the carts, I believe. So now that we've done the carts, we've added, by the way, we added a whole bunch of Unum. I'm now at 254,000. So definitely added um, you know, 10, 20,000 Unum tonight, uh, which is really cool. So great, let's go visit some quests. And so quests do a couple different things. So they give you loot boxes. That's obviously the cool thing. Uh, they also give you CU tokens, right? So Right there, you know, if I that's two and a half CU tokens that I, I will get just for collecting the quest. Now, to complete a quest, it obviously takes time. You can see here that um, I need berries, I need dew drops, and I need uh, the cirrus flakes. Now, the berries, as you I showed you before, you can get from the farms. The dew drops and the cirrus flakes they can be crafted in the workshop, and that's what I'm going to show you guys after we go through and um, collect some of these quests. Uh, that have already been pre, uh, pre-initiated. I sent the unicorns out earlier to do the quests. And then we're going to go open some loot boxes and then I'll show you guys how the workshop works. So let's go ahead and open up some of these, um, sorry, co collect the um, quests uh, and the loot boxes. So you can see here, I've uh, collected the reward and now I can collect everything. So I'll just go through, um, here we go, another one, another quest that's finished. You have two types of quests, by the way, on each quest boards. You have the daily quests, and then you have a weekly quest chain, right? So the daily quest, every 24 hours, you get a new quest. But then the daily chain, you have a week to finish it, and the rewards get higher and higher as you progress, right? So you can walk away with eight loot boxes from a single quest um, if you were to do the final quest in the chain. But obviously, that requires more advanced resources. So um, yeah, that's pretty pretty interesting. So we're going to go through now, just going to collect all these farms. Again, I do this just about every day. It takes me about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. It's just become a habit now. It's like brushing my teeth. Uh, so we're going to go here, collect all these um, quests, and then we're going to go open some loot boxes and let's see what we get. Uh, I think we've got a few more quests over here. So again, keep in mind that for me, this is obviously a bit longer of a process because I have so much stuff. If you're just getting started out, this is obviously not going to be as intensive for you. But honestly, I don't mind it. it this is something I can do. There's just this chill. I'm happy to go and click some buttons um, and watch the number go up in the meantime. So I think this is one of the last quest boards. Yeah, this is a nice one. Uh, 2.1 CU plus uh, three loot boxes. So we're going to go collect that as well. Um, cool, a few more farms to collect. And I think, well, over here we have a unicorn poo. By the way, every 24 hours, unicorns do a, a unicorn turd, and the turds actually give you seeds. So here you go. Oh, and I got a um, scroll from that as well. The scrolls can be used to complete specialist quests, which is pretty cool. I will show you guys that as well. Um, so I'm going to zoom back out and just click on some of these farms. And I believe that's all my quests. Great. Let's go open some loot boxes. Let's see what we got. Um, cool. So to get to loot boxes, by the way, I, I went, went through that fairly quickly. You want to go to inventory. You want to go to production. And under production, you have loot boxes. And so here we can see the loot boxes that were just collected. I'm going to go through and open each one. And we're going to see what we got. So here we go. Five cloud loot boxes. So nice. Look at that. So uh, 6.5 CU. Uh, we've got a bunch of different in-game items that can be used for, again, completing certain collections or quests, um, as well as crafting items. So great, I'm, I'm happy with that. 6.5 CU is not a bad outcome at all. Uh, there is a jackpot feature with every box. You can get up to 100 CU if you hit the jackpot, which um, 
isn't bad at all. So we're going to open up this. Not as good here, although I did get some cool plushies. Plushies are used for collections. I'll show you guys what that is, um, what the collections are just after this. Uh, now we're going to open up seven moon loot boxes. Now I need these like red, like these red crystal orb things. If I can get some of those, I'll be pretty happy because um, we can redeem them for breeding boosters. But no, no red orbs. That's okay. We did get some rockets. Um, and again, we can claim some, um, some cool rewards with, with some of this stuff. And lastly, we're going to open up the four unboxes. We did get some hot dogs. That's, um, that, that's pretty cool. So hot dogs, again, can be used to uh, claim some breeding boosters and some unit rewards. So great. So we've opened up a bunch of loot boxes. Um, we've collected the carts. Now we're going to uh, collect more rewards. So you saw a bunch of items there that came out of the loot boxes. You know, we had the telescopes from the moon boxes. We had the beanies from the... Um, uh, from the cloud boxes and here you can see the hot dogs that I got from the on boxes, right? So obviously you can see here how much of each item you need to claim those rewards So I can scroll down for example And you can see all the different items that the loot box gives you and essentially you're getting tokens You're getting boosters which increase the chance of your unicorns uh, Inheriting sorry your baby unicorns inheriting the parts when you breed from the adults um, and then the evolution booster essentially gives a chance to upgrade the um, the, the stats or the genes of the um, baby unicorn when you evolve it to an adult. Um, but we'll go there. We'll do an actual live breed um, over the course so you guys can uh, get it. So yeah, quite quite a lot of quests here, but we got two rewards we can claim. So it lights up nice and gold and shiny. We're going to go claim that. It's going to give us some pretty cool T3 materials, which we can use to upgrade our buildings even further. This is how you get your carts to level 10, by the way. So, um, cool. We've claimed that. Uh, now the next thing I'm going to show you is how the workshop works. So here we have some um, workshops that have got items ready to collect. I'm just going to go through and collect it now. I'm not going to go do all of them because um, we don't really need to for the sake of being brief. Um, so yeah, here we go. We have um, actually that workshop still going. Here we go. Um, yeah, so this is the workshop, by the way, guys, the workshop uh, essentially allows you to craft just about everything you need in the game to do all your quests, um, as well as craft items for jousting, craft breeding boosters. We can see here all the different categories. So, you know, your building is mainly used to upgrade your, your buildings and also, you know, for example, the dew drops that we needed to do some of the quests. Um, that was uh, one of the items we needed, right? So we can see here, okay, let's just say we wanted to craft some dew drops we've got two options here we have a bulk craft or we have an individual craft and so if you're someone that just wants to craft bulk you have an option for that if you're someone that wants to craft individually because you don't have enough resources you can do that as well so we're going to go to we're going to do bulk because honestly i prefer the bulk options we're going to find a unicorn that has enough energy so we can see here it needs six energy points i've selected a unicorn that has 10. so i'm going to go craft and so he's going to come back eight hours from now with all those materials, but I've just crafted enough that I could easily use for a week, I reckon. Um, so going back to the workshop, you know, we can craft all different building and questing materials here. Um, these again here are, are questing materials as well. Uh, here we have boosts. So these are the different breeding boosters. Obviously T6 is the highest breeding booster you can get. That is going to give your babies the best chance of inheriting the most powerful parts from the adults, which again, I will explain to you guys how breeding works. And then after that, I'll give a quick overview around the Shadow Forge and we will get into some Q&A. Um, so yeah, here you can see all different upgrades. These boot, uh, these potions, by the way, are used for jousting. Uh, jousting is a uh, weekend event. So uh, jousting is uh, Friday, uh, Saturday, and a bit of Sunday, depending where you are in the world. It might be Thursday, um, Friday, and Saturday as well. So Generally around weekends is when jousting starts and this is where you're crafting all the potions and the potions obviously enhance your unicorn stats depending on the type of potion you use. So definitely a must if you want to increase your chances at winning in jousting. Uh, here we have keystones. Uh, so you can actually mint land in crypto unicorns. So if the, if the land on the marketplace is too expensive, you actually can mint land. So you need to craft a keystone first. You can see the mat, uh, materials here required. So again, some of those class mats, some seeds. Um, and then obviously you will need to pay a bit of um, wheat 
for the uh, and CU and Unum to craft the actual land through our land vending machine. So that's how you get the keystones. Seed bags, you know, you might not want to do one seed at a time. Seed bags are by, are by far the most efficient um, path for getting the most out of your farms, right? Because it's only going to take you two to three days. And after that, you get all these seeds, uh, sorry, all these berries that we, as we saw at the start. And that's going to just, again, allow you to get the most out of your economy. Um, yes, we do have tutorials for new players. So when you go into Crypto Unicorns for the first time, it will give you a tutorial. Um, and then on top of that, we have guides everywhere. And also, honestly, guys, the best way I learned this game is just getting in our Discord and asking questions. Like I'm someone who learns just by asking questions. I, I can't really get things by reading. I can understand things a bit better visually. But when I ask questions, I, I, I can kind of cater... I, I can calibrate the question to get the answer I'm looking for. And once I get the answer I'm looking for, it then sinks in. So ask questions. Our community is here to support you. We've got OGs and whales that have been here for years uh, and know the game quite well. So we're happy to help, serve, and support in whatever way we can. Um, cool. So there's the seed bags. Here we can craft the scrolls. So this is another item we need for questing. So this is where you craft the different types of scrolls as well. There's different rarities. You can craft the jousting tickets if you can't afford to buy those from the marketplace. And then here we have tribe materials, which you can use to upgrade your tribe. Tribes are like a guild. You can band up with a group of players and all participate in leaderboards and work on your um, tribe buildings to essentially unlock things like gems. Um, cool, so that's the workshop. We also have the in-game marketplace. So let's just say you're someone who just wants to fucking throw C at the problem to make it work. Uh, you can do that, right? You can go and buy, uh, use your CU to go and buy berries, or maybe you you just need a top up of berries. Um, you can go through and just purchase it instantaneously through the market. Keep in mind that every time you spend CU and crypto unicorns, a percentage of that token is burnt, right? So this this supply is deflationary, and not many people understand that. We're one of the only gaming tokens. I think we are the only game tokens where the is spending the token in the game actually burns from supply. Right, that's powerful stuff because anytime you reduce the supply of something, uh, it becomes more scarce. And if something becomes more scarce, it inherently becomes more valuable. Um, so yeah, you know, you, you can go and just buy things from the marketplace, which is by far the quickest way. You've got all the materials you need here. You can just buy the seed bags. Uh, you've got the different types of um, um, you got your T1 uh, base materials here and then your T3 materials, which are used to upgrade the, the higher levels of your gathering cart, as well as um, some higher level class materials as well. And lastly, in special, we have the potions. So again, you don't have to craft anything. Largely, you can go and just buy everything you need from, uh, from the marketplace. Um, cool. So let's go breed a unicorn. So again, there's a few more farms here. Let's click some of those. Let's go breed a unicorn. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Actually, I think I, do I have any eggs at the moment? No. All right, cool. So we're going to breed a unicorn, a unicorn from scratch. Let's see what we have here. What do we want to do? All right. I'm, I'm feeling a little bit lucky tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to breed two triple mythic, uh, unicorns. Do I have those actually? I think they might be busy. They're not showing up. Oh, let me double check. So by the way, we have all these filters up here that are designed to just help you find what you're looking for. So you can see here, you can filter by different mythic parts um, or different classes, which is gonna help you figure out and find what unicorn you're looking for. So um, yeah, let, let's do this. Let, let, let's do this. So I'm going to try and attempt to um, breed two different unicorns together with the hope that they pass on the right parts of the baby. So you can see here, this unicorn, he's got a gold body or a mythic body. He's got the mythic mane and mythic horn. This unicorn has the mythic horn, mythic eyes and mythic tail. Now there is a small chance that the baby can have the mythic tail, the mythic body, the mythic mane, the mythic horn and the mythic eyes. Now, a unicorn like that would be worth thousands of dollars. You know, we actually had someone this week breed a, a legendary, actually two people breed uh, this week breed a legendary unicorn. They got about, oh, they, they, they got, I think, close to around uh, 25,000 CU as a reward 
from uh, uh, Laguna, us, yeah, crypto unicorns. And then on top of that, those unicorns are extremely valuable because I think there's only about four or five of them in existence. Um, so we're going to try our luck here. Now, I don't have any T6 boosters. We're going to try T5. Um, so here we can see the cost. It's going to cost 300 berries, 12,500 unum because there's a lot of breed points missing and 15 CU tokens. Here we have a, um, it just gives you an idea of what the percent chance, depending on the booster, what part will go down. So you can see here that Essentially, you have a 27.5 or a 1 in 4 chance, um, just over 1 in 4 chance of that part being passed down to the baby using a T6 booster, which is the highest one you can get. Now, for me, I think this is where the most fun in Crypto Unicorns is, right? Because it is a bit of a numbers game, but you need to make sure you're breeding the unicorns with the right parts and the right genes. Because I'm not going to go through how genes work. It's complicated. This is something that you kind of have to degen into. But going over it during a live call, it's just not going to make mo most sense to most people at this stage. So we're just going to aim to get a unicorn with, you know, I'd, I'd love to get at least three mythic parts. I'd be happy if it's, if it's a triple. So we're going to get a breed. A MetaMask um, prompt is going to put up. Now, one thing I'll point out, guys. So as you know, we used to be on Polygon, right? We used to be on Polygon. We we're on Polygon for two years. And um, this breeding process used to take minutes like three four minutes to go through um with zyde it, it takes um it takes seconds so there we can see the first transaction has just gone through so we have to do two transactions you're probably not going to see the metamask pop um pop-ups but i am paying fuck all for gas because gas is rebated anyway with uh crypto unicorns um courtesy of the wonderful team at zy um and so what's going to happen is once we put the two transactions through um, there's going to be about a 30 second countdown and then I can go ahead and collect the eggs. So we'll just wait for, um, this to, uh, finish. And so now we can see 30 ish seconds before we can go and claim that egg and hatch it. And then we will be adding a new unicorn and hopefully a fucking good unicorn. If it's shit, I'm going to kill it. Like you can literally burn your unicorns as well, by the way, to get souls. And this is how you craft gems. So that's like a high end game loop. Um, just so you guys know what that is while we're waiting for that. So we can go here. We can um, look at the tribe. So these are all my guild buddies. We all have our own different plots of land. And this is tribe HQ, right? So there's obviously a town hall here. You can upgrade your town hall, which allows you to have more players. Um, but here is the, the true value, and that's the gem works. So the gem works, you can craft gems. And you can add these gems to your unicorns to make them more powerful. So, for example, you know, we have some... Um, Codex is here. You have a chance, for example, if you use this codex, I can get a, an attack gem that will roll anywhere between 25 to 105 attack stats and a bonus between 1 to 2% um, increase of the total attack stat as well. So, you know, you can see here, I don't have the resources at the moment, but you can go ahead and craft this. But see how I need a unicorn soul? So, you know, you any crap unicorns you may not want anymore, you can go ahead and burn. So again, the unicorn supply has the potential to be deflationary. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. Our egg should be ready. Let's go and hatch the egg, see what we got. Uh, so here we go, we're gonna go collect the egg. So it's given a, uh, a name, so Tamarack Samantha. Come on, Tamarack Samantha, bring me, bring me luck. And if you don't bring me luck, you are off to the glue factory. Um, so again, transaction's gonna go through on Xi, we're going to confirm. And we can go back and see, let's get rid of these filters. We can go and see the status there. Oh, I did have um, another egg, but yeah, I'm going to save that one because I think that was the same. I think it was the same parents because again, I'm trying to get a quad mythic. I only have one quad, right? So I think he's, yeah, here we go. Here's the one quad I have. So I haven't been able to breed. Like I've been playing for two years now, right? I have 750 unicorns. I haven't been able to get a unicorn with more than four mythic parts. Like this is the best I've been able to do. And so I've just had bad luck. <laughs> um, or maybe, I don't know, maybe I just did something wrong, but I think it's bad luck. Cause I bred, I bred a lot of unicorns. Like I said, I have 750. So there's a lot of unicorns there. Um, so yeah, guys, make sure you're filling out the forms. Um, and you know, I want to draw some winners out at the end of this. So fill out the form if you haven't, just a reminder. Um, cool. So that egg should have gone through the first transaction. We're going to do the second one now. We're going to go to complete hatching. 
Uh, and then we can see what we got. By the way, there is all audio to this. I've just muted it because one, it's easy to hear me and two, you know, my voice is great. So it's better than the music. So we're going we're to see what we get from this egg. It should only take a few more seconds. Hoping for a, hoping for a mythic or something. I'll be pretty, pretty annoyed if it's not. What do we got here? We got something not very good. Look at that. Useless. So Tamrak Samantha. So I, my RNG didn't pay off then, right? I didn't get any mythic parts. I only used a T5 booster. So for me, that's a dud. I, I'll have to try my luck again. So Tamrak Samantha is officially off to the glue factory. Uh, I'll see you in hell. <laughs> uh, so uh, that, but that's part of the game, guys. Part of the game is trying to breed out these high stat, you know, high mythic part corns. Uh, they perform the best in jousting. They give the best return of any other unicorn and they hold their value because um, they're quite rare, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, guys, again, this is, it might seem like a lot, but you got to keep in mind when you're getting started out on a new game or a new habit, behavior, whatever it is, it's day-to-day -day consistency that allows you to build up all this knowledge, right? You know, I didn't learn all this stuff at first. I'm just going to be adding these unicorns to the gathering cart while I'm talking. So, yeah, you start small. Every day you, you contribute, you show up, and then you can walk away and have, like, a massive land plot like this um, at the end. So, yeah, that, that's pretty much the core game. Um, before I go ahead and take some questions now, because we're nearing the last um, 20 minutes of the scheduled time, and I don't want to, um, I don't want to ensure that uh, we're running according to the schedule, I just want to quickly show you guys um the shadow corn so um yeah so i if you guys are wondering what my profile picture was that purple shadow corn well this is what they are so the shadow corns is one of three thousand they're non-inflatable supply you know there's only ever three thousand and that's it and these are meant as the more passive play style um you know if that's your preference that you can own and you know again it's, it's always going to be a limited supply so we have here you know you can see that i've got all these different shadow corns here i'm just going to scroll down and the goal is you want to collect the husks right because every day your your husk storage is going to fill so every day you'll go on and send your unicorn out uh, to get husks you can see there's different classes here so this is a vault class for example um you know and let's just say i want him to go get some vault husks I want to go and stake him, right? And essentially, you're staking for 24 hours. On average, that's how long it takes to um, uh, to fill up the storage. Uh, we are having Shuttercorn Ascension coming soon, which means you can um, upgrade your Shuttercorns even more uh, to make them more powerful, increase their hus size. But yeah, so I have all these Shuttercorns. They're working away passively, collecting husks. And these husks, you're probably wondering, okay, well, what are they used for? Husks are used for crafting rituals. So we can see here all these rituals um, can be crafted. There's different rarities, different classes, and some you know will allow you to craft. You know this one for example. For every ritual I do, I get four minions. Right. So you have different value, uh, different values of rituals. And the idea is, is that every time you craft a ritual, you get points. And these points. Uh, contribute to your weight of the um, portion you get from the daily Unum token pool and the daily Dark Mark pool, right? And then on top of that, there's a mechanic where you can upgrade your forge to make you um, increase the rate at which the unicorns can generate husks. So again, this has taken me time to do this. I started off with one Shadow Corns and through reinvesting, I was able to get, I think I got 12 or 14 or something like that or 15, something like that. Um, so yeah, you know, for me, I, this is kind of the thing I'm most passionate about because I'm a fan of fucking whale assets, right? I, I love anything that's highly collectible that has like a passive yield. And so for me, this is kind of, you know, what I prefer. Again, this has its own inventory system. So we can see here, there's, you know, all my different husks. You can get your shadow corns to, you know, to, to harvest other items as well, which can be used for crafting. Um, and then obviously here. We can see all the types of minions that have been crafted, and these minions are used to fight unicorns in an upcoming game mode we have uh, called Twilight Tactics. So really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Um, cool, guys. Well, that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you guys. Again, I know it's a lot, but you know, take your time here. Reach out to the community. Ask questions. Um, 
let's do uh, some Q and A. So if anyone has questions based on what they've just seen, feel free to, um, yeah, feel free to ask, happy to help. Again, you know, I've been playing this game for years, so um, chances are I'm gonna be able to give you um, some really cool strategies and uh, alphas. So um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions, feel free to throw the question in chat. You're also welcome to come up to the stage if you want to put your hand up. I can bring you up to the stage if you want to have a chat with me or ask me anything. Um, so uh, Sandeep, why asked uh, where to get NFTs if you're starting the game? So we actually have a marketplace, uh, Crypto Unicorns Marketplace. I'll share the link for you here. Um, one thing we actually have uh, that's coming are uh, starter bundles as well. So one of my one of my key gripes with the marketplace, and this is kind of, oh, thank you, someone's just shared it. So this is kind of my gripe with um, the current marketplace experience. And I, I, my my background, by the way, guys, like I did performance marketing. I ran a marketing um, a Facebook marketing agency for seven or eight years. And so those two things I was obsessed about: running great fucking ads that get people to click, and two sales page sales pages that convert. And for me, Web three is no different. We have to have a great experience that gets people's attention. You know that, that what's the attention breaker? What gets people to take the, the 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 you know the the call to action to click? And once they're on the landing page, how do we minimize all the decisions people need to make? Right. And so if you go to the marketplace the first time, it's like, whoa, there's a lot of assets here. Um, now that's good for existing players, or it's great if you know what you're doing. But if you're new, if you're new to the game, then I think we need to simplify that. So within the month, we're going to have starter bundles out. So you can simply go to a starter bundle. It's going to have everything you need, tokens, unicorns, land, and you click the button once and you add it to your cart and done. That's it. Uh, and I think we all need to make sure that uh, the user experience is as good as possible with crypto unicorns. And that's what we're working very hard over the next few months. Next month is actually going to be a massive month for us. We have Rainbow Rumble launching and I, I, will, I will be back here for a stream night with even more rewards. I'm going to see if I can get, you know, fucking YOLO. Let's do it. 5,000 Zai. I'm going to give out 5,000 Zai for that game night. So make sure you show up for that one because we're going to, we're going to tease Rainbow Rumble. I'm going to show you guys some of the hacks and strategies. Um, and I did really well in the last season of Rainbow Rumble. So um, yeah, if you guys don't know what that is, stay tuned. It is a, it's simply, essentially a, a hyper casual obstacle course skill based racing game. You know, get to the other end. It's like four guys, right? Get to the other end of the obstacle course, knock people off if you want. And if you get to the end, you get tokens, right? And depending on how you place depends on, um, um, on how much tokens you get. So yeah, very excited for that. We have some huge partnerships lined up for that as well. Uh, details will be revealed shortly, but it's pretty, it's pretty significant, guys. People are going to lose their shit when they see who I've partnered up with for that. <laughs> so I ain't telling anyone who that is yet because, to be frank, it'd be insider trading, <laughs> uh, giving you guys all that information. So uh, obviously we, we need to make sure there's fair play here. So um, yeah, does anyone have any questions? Um, tell me a look here, look at comments. Yeah, if anyone wants to come up, ask a question, feel free to do it. Well, not a question, but Ben Shallow has. Um, he's asking if, uh, I mean, he would like to know more about the play to airdrop rewards. Yeah. Yeah, pl play, play to airdrop rewards. Okay, so there's two components to this. So one, it's the, de I I'm actually going to share my screen for this because this is a bit easier to, a bit easier to do. So let's go back here. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go to the claim page <clears throat> and we're also going to load up the airdrop page. Uh, so there's two components to the airdrop. So firstly, there's the daily rewards you get. Now I'm a big fan of daily rewards. I get about close to 20 to 25 Zai a day um, through the daily rewards. So it shows up here, by the way, I've already claimed it for today. It's showing zero. Um, but you know, here, even staking CU, I'm getting 80 Zai a day, right? You can see here all the different claims. So I just go and claim, it's like a daily habit. I go and claim my rewards, right? So I get my, I get my 80 Zai a day, which I'm certainly, you know, pretty damn happy with. I got this for staking CU, um, LP tokens, um, 
I'm not going to go into that on the call, but there is an option there. You can stake CU. Um, you'll obviously need some ETH to do the pair. And if you stake that, there's some pretty attractive APYs on that. I think it's up at around, oh, probably around 60 or 70% at this point in time. It obviously will fluctuate depending on the price of Zai. So you have your daily logins that you get, which is really good, right? Because everyone can get something. If you just log into the game and do a workshop, you should get around just under a Zai, right? You do a quest, you're going to get Zai. Jousting is about to kick off in just over uh, 12 hours. You're going to get Zai from Jousting. And obviously, if you own a Shadow Corn, you get Zai just from holding the Shadow Corns, right? So that's all really cool. So these are these are all on Arbitrum, by the way. At the moment, I'm obviously on Zai Chain. So if I scroll down here, um, oh, there's the... Uh, yeah, there's the uh, CU badge. Make sure you guys are claiming the daily CU badges, by the way. It's for the um, Odyssey, the Odyssey Galaxy campaign. Um, so yeah, normally all my rewards show up here every day. Again, I've already claimed these, but you can see the countdown timer here when they show up next. Um, so yeah, you, you, I mentioned before that the Shadow Corn's still a portion of everything that's lost in the farm game, uh, the core game. Uh, that shows up here, you know. So I get about thirty to forty. See you a day and probably around five to six hundred unit, which is pretty good. You know, that's all passive, uh, passive tokens. Uh, so this is the first component of the airdrop. The second is here, which is the airdrop page. Um, so yeah, we, we've actually got some pretty cool rewards here. So if you haven't checked this out yet, this is cryptounicorns.fun slash airdrop. And so if you're playing the game at the moment, you're you should automatically be qualifying for the airdrop. Obviously depending on how many actions you do will determine your score and your score will determine your placement and your placement will determine your reward. So you can see here at this rate, I'm scheduled to get, you know, 1200, Zy, 1200 plus Zy tokens, a bunch of loot boxes, some gem crafting materials. That's great. Um, if I push a little bit harder, I can get to T, um, yeah, T8 and T8 is two and a half thousand tokens. So still got 30 something days and in terms of the uh, how to get the rewards, we actually have here what you need to do, right? So just logging in, you know, complete a, a daily or weekly quest. You know, we, we did a few of those. Participate in the joust. That's about to start next weekend. You know, I just bred a unicorn. Uh, you evolve a baby, right? These are all basic in-game actions. Obviously, the minions, you need the shadow corn to do it. Uh, and same as holding a shadow corn. But holding land, um, again, you will generate daily points. And depending on how many points you get, will determine the size of the airdrop you receive um, in 37 days when this is scheduled to end. So yeah, really cool stuff. I'm aiming for I'm aiming for T8. It's just a it's a competitive race. <laughs> so two and a half thousand Zai isn't a bad reward though. I'd be pretty happy with that. You know, I I, I cannot fucking wait to Zai hits 10 bucks. I think it's certainly possible because I believe $10 Zai is only a $3 billion market cap. Um yeah, and that would be insane. So we're all here because we believe in Web3 Gaming. We're all here because uh, we enjoy Web3 Gaming. And th so the question is, is ultimately, you know, yes, we get in now and it is obviously a bit volatile, but that's why we get such a good deal. Because if you want to have a world of 10 to 100x gains, you have to have a, an element of risk involved, right? And that risk tolerance for me, I think is one of the best things you can develop as a human being because that's useful everywhere in your life, right? Imagine being able to stay cool no matter what. That is a superpower that not many people have, especially these days where everyone's very reactive to everything, especially in crypto markets where someone does or says something and then boom, ETH's out of $400. So uh, yeah, guys, going back, to, going back to the point I was saying, um, yeah, play, play to airdrop um, is still going 30 days. Um, by the way, guys, if you missed this recording, sorry, if you missed the stream, you, we, we're recording all this. We'll put the video back up so you can watch the game and all that sort of stuff in hindsight. So we've recorded this for that reason. Uh, don't stress. Um, but yeah, no, I'm super bullish on Zai, guys. I know the team. The team's fantastic. I think we're all grateful to be here. And I think in the next six months, we're really going to start to see Web3 Gaming kick off. Why? Because we have so many narratives coming up. You know, we have obviously potential uh, Bitcoin being added to the US reserve. If, you know, depending on what you, I'm not going to go into political stances, but obviously some politicians are more pro crypto than others. I think we're going to see a lot more pro crypto politicians, right? We're going to see more mainstream support. The ETFs have been doing really well. The moment interest rates going uh, go back down, all this liquidity is going to flow into crypto. And that is going to be the time when 
you know, gaming is going to absolutely shine. Again, there's always a risk uh, in operating in this space, but the rewards are immense. And that is why we're all here. Personally, I want to save up and buy a home. I don't want to work in a fucking job for 30 to 40 years to do that. I live in Australia. The average price in Sydney is $1.6 million to own a home. I don't want to work my ass off for 20, 30 years to do that. So I'm here in this space taking bets, showing up and fucking playing out, you know, hardcore my convictions because I'd rather do that and fail than knowing that, oh, well, imagine if I tried, you know, you have to try in order to accomplish. So this is the meaning of an entrepreneur and a DJ. And so, um, yeah, side rant there, there. but that's, that's the um, play to airdrop in a nutshell. Uh, was there any other questions around the airdrop? And I reckon we uh, do the wheel in a few minutes. Call out some winners. I'll just uh, give it a minute and uh, I might st stop the uh, share as well. Here we go. Yeah. Um, does anyone have any questions? Anything about gathering carts, questing, how to get more Xi tokens? You know, um, happy to happy to answer about that. Of um, yeah, I, I own um, a Xi node as well. I managed to get one. <laughs> I got mine pretty cheap actually. I think I got mine point. 0.24 ETH. So I got I got mine pretty early. I was pretty early to the game. Got some good tip offs from my uh, community. Uh, few people typing. Yeah. So how to get more jackpots from the gathering cart? So uh, you want to level the gathering cart up because if you start off at level one, you only have one slot. I think when you get to around level three or four, you unlock the second slot. When you get to level 10, you get three slots. And that means you have three times the chance per gathering cart to get a jackpot. But also the size of the jackpot goes up. Um, so yeah, at level 10, you can get a jackpot of 120,000 unum. Um, what's, let me see what that's worth right now. I'm gonna go on to uh, Gecko. 120,000 unum is 92 usd not bad i get about two of those a week that's like half my rent <laughs> if i cashed out if i cashed out then i'm too busy reading bloody unicorns trying to get those um quad or epic mythic uh unicorns or just buying more shadow corns either one you also get um a jackpot with, uh, like I said, the loot boxes, so you can get up to 100 CU from a single loot box. The the mythic loot boxes, I think they can give you a lot more. I think they can give you up to like 5,000 CU, but they're pretty rare. They're pretty rare. I'm a big fan of jackpots. I think we all need more jackpot features in our life. It's the it's such a big high. Um, Well, I, I pay my rent in neither Xi or CU. What, what I'm saying is I could do it if I was extractive. But, you know, I, I have so much conviction here that why would I extract now, especially when all the altcoins are so low, knowing that, you know, in, in 6 to 12 months' time, everything can do a 10 to 100x. Imagine that feeling, knowing that you sold at the bottom. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm more likely to learn from this space when I have skin in the game. I think just about everyone else can say that as well. So your jackpot has nothing to do. Oh, so the, the gathering carts have, like all the buildings have stats, right? So for example, if you want 100% um, success completion rate of your gathering, you need to obviously have, a, a, I think, for at least 1,400 stats on your, on your unicorn. Um, but mythic unicorns actually have a higher chance at getting a jackpot as well. So for example, a triple mythic unicorn is going to have a higher jackpot chance than a single mythic unicorn. Floor price for unicorns and lands. Um, so I believe the floor price for unicorns, it's probably like for an adult unicorn, it's like five or $7. And for land, I think it's about maybe 50. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be more seasons to play to air, play to airdrop. But one thing I'm obviously, um, so we, we, I actually discussed this today with our CEO. We want to make play to airdrop more and more rewarding. So we're going to be looking at ways to do it. Um, 
I guess one thing I'd be curious to hear from you guys. Let's let's kind of do a live poll here, and then we'll get the um, <laughs> th then we'll get the uh, wheels spun and pick some winners. I'd be curious to hear from you guys. What would you value more? Would you look, prefer an airdrop that you get after two months of competition? Or would you prefer an airdrop that rewards you every day? So let's just say, you know, we had a million dollar airdrop, right? And at the end of the two months, we look at the points on the leaderboard and be like, okay, cool. Well, here's what you got. Here's a, you know, let's let's split the million dollars up between all the different winners and depending on the points. Or would you prefer that million dollars to be distributed every day? So let's just say if it was, you know, let's just say a hundred days it ran for, we would give out ten thousand dollars per day as total airdrop uh, worth of an airdrop and you're logging on every day to collect that. I'm curious to hear from you guys, what would you prefer? Because, hey, like in my mind, I'm like fucking every day is the best because every day means newer players coming in are more likely to get something sooner. And I think if people are more likely to get a reward sooner, they have instant gratification and therefore they're more likely to come back tomorrow. That's my thoughts though, you know. Everyone has their own opinion, and I respect that. But that's just how I think. Cool. See, it seems to be pretty, pretty, pretty one-sided to daily. That's interesting because we're, we're currently planning out our next um, play to airdrop. So, yeah, I, I was kind of leaning that way because I know it's cool. I actually like going on and collecting my Zai every day. It's a pretty cool experience. It's just like, well, you know what, like. You know, sure, the space is down and, you know, it, we're still waiting for this gaming alt ball to come. But at least I have progress, right? I show up, I click something. Cool. At least this could mean something. It's kind of, it gives me hope. <laughs> I think that's the word to put it. It, it. it gives me hope. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, 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 well, we have the seven day um, cool down on it. So, all right. Um, All right, cool. Uh, so you guys know what time it is. Drum roll. Uh, it's time to spin the wheel. That's what time it is. It's time to give out some Zai. So hang on a sec. Let me, let me share my screen again. I'm going to get some Zai. I'm going to get some Zai flowing out to the masses. Ten, ten winners. Can I get a hell yeah? Um, all right, let me share my screen. Yeah, free Zai. Freeze eyes coming your way. Cool. Thank you for the team to putting uh, for putting this together. So, uh, just to confirm with you all how this goes, we're doing two spins. There's uh, a spin here. We're going to have five winners, and this is for everyone. And then I'm going to spin a second wheel after this, and this is going to be for uh, Zai node holders. So if you uh, hold a Zai node and you're here. Um, that wheel's for you. <laughs> so, yeah, rewards rewards for everyone. I, I, I like anything where everyone gets a chance to win. So, um, cool. All right, we're going to click the wheel for the first spin. So, let's do it. Let's fucking go. Who's the winner of the first prize of 100 Zai? What? <laughs> Venticello! Well done. Um, by the way, guys, so we'll reach out to every winner and get your wallet address, and the Zai will be dropped within 24 hours by our team, all right? So that's, that's how we'll do this. Um, Silly, can you, can you just get everyone's name down while I'm doing this? Oh, sorry, it's not Silly anymore. It's go yeah, it's yeah. Gorgeous Unicorn, if you could do that, that would be great. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. So that's the first winner. We've got four more to go. All right, winner number two. Majtaba76. Congratulations. The second winner of 100 Zai. Third spin. Hashtag Moo 8018. Congratulations. You are the third winner of Zai.
Gene Two. Fourth winner of 100, Zai. All right, last spin. And then we're going to go and do a spin for the Zai note holders. Let's see who it is. Lucky last. <laughs> what? Oh my god, how close was that? Oh my god. I'm sorry, DPU552000. That was... Yeah, Azuki dot Sai clutched you hard, man. That that's that's pretty brutal. <laughs> wow, that's harsh. Glad that wasn't me. <laughs> All right, let's do the other wheel. That's pretty funny. Uh, okay, so get this other one up. I'm just going through. All right, cool. So, uh, a lot less people on this one. So, if you didn't win the last one and you're a node holder, you have a pretty good chance. What, well, I think it was like, we're giving away five and there's probably like 15 or something, less than 15 people on here. Cool. All right, be ready. Here we go. I love giving away free money. It's it, it really is. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Deep you, wait. Lady Fortune has smiled upon you. She screwed you over at the start, but then she kind of came back and was just like, "Hey, I miss you." Couldn't make this shit up. <laughs> that's that that is fucking hilarious. All right, second winner. Sab Zero, number 7,066. Congratulations, you are the second winner. Third spin. Heck Boss. Third winner. Congratulations. Two more spins, guys. Two more spins. <laughs> you don't get it twice, man. No, that that doesn't count. I, yeah, the same person can't win twice. <laughs> that's that's pretty funny though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm gonna say like we we want to try and spread this out. So if the same person's gonna win too, I think that's kind of a bit unfair. If you won something, I think we cap it at one and we give it to someone else. So let let's do that again. That that's there was a glitch, system error. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> what the fuck I don't, I don't know what to do like it's like the universe just wants this guy to win <laughs> oh man that's so funny I can't stop laughing oh, look I, I tell you what I, I'm going to spin it again if it happens again I'm just going to give you the 100 Zai because you know that's just me going against the universe at that point What are the chances of that? Hey, we got someone else. Arika, 1995. You're the fourth winner. All right, guys, one more. One more. Here we go. Good luck. <clears throat> oh my God, no way. No way. What are the chances of the same person winning four times? Oh, what, what, <laughs> what should I do, guys? Like, should I give it to him twice or, or should we just spin it again? Like, he's literally won it four times. <laughs> Is he on the stream? Uh, that, that's that's very nice of you, Sab Zero. He he's saying, uh, spin it to give someone else. So that's his call. I think I think that's good sportsmanship. I was literally like thinking of just giving it to him because, yeah, it's just outrageous that he's won it four times. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for that. I think that's um, like I said, good sportsmanship.
Um, we want to try and have as many people win as possible, right? So, but damn, dude, go and bet on a Solana meme coin straight after this. I think you're going to have some good luck tonight. <laughs> uh, okay, you cannot win twice. I think that's just the official new rule. We're just going to spin that again. At this stage, I think we've got so many winners on this wheel that... Oh, there we go. We got a fresh face. Still B. Congratulations, man. You're the last winner. Well, that was more complicated than, <laughs> than what I anticipated. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It was a good laugh. <laughs> um, cool, guys. Well, look, that was a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to do another one in about two weeks' time, but we're going to do it for Rainbow Rumble. And here's the deal, right? If you show up to this call, uh, I'm going to give everyone on that call a free unicorn. If you show up to the Rainbow Rumble call, I'm going to give you all a free unicorn. That's number one. Number two, we're going to give away 5,000 Zai for that, all right? 5,000. We're going to pick 10 winners again which means you're now going to get 500 Zai if you win. So tell people about it. If, again, if you don't know what Rainbow Rumble is, go on YouTube. Your Crypto Unicorns Rainbow Rumble. This is a really cool game, competitive. Uh, we're going to do it in around two weeks' time. Or the, So the game's planning to launch in around two weeks' time. And so obviously I just need to make sure the dates line up and all that sort of stuff. So if it's not two weeks' time, it's three weeks' time. But either way, I'll communicate it to you all. Um, we've got some massive rewards for Rainbow Rumble, by the way. So a lot of rewards. So yeah, it's going to be raining rewards. If you like rewards, this is the place to be. I like rewards and I like money. That's why I'm here. So, um, yeah, guys, that's very exciting. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you all for joining. Just a reminder that the replay will be available. Uh, if you missed it and you want to watch what I went through, the replay, replay will be available. We'll put up the recording. Uh, if you have any questions at all, we have the, uh, the, the, the Crypto Unicorns discussion channel in the Gamer Zone chat in the Zai Discord. And we also have our own Discord where all our OGs and our whales and our players are actively hanging out. So if you need any questions answered, or you need advice, you need support in any way, you need help purchasing something, we're all happy uh, to help you do that. So just ask for help. And that's the most important thing. Ask questions, have a growth mindset, ask for help and be patient. I think if you do that, uh, that's going to give you the best chances at really scaling your CU account and getting um, getting a fuckload of rewards to come with it. So thanks again all. Thanks to Zai for hosting. Have a good day or night, everyone, depending where you are. And we'll speak again soon.